Hola, welcome to Nourished Sundays. I'm your host, Joanna, certified in holistic nutrition from the Canadian School of Natural Nutrition. This series is all about decoding what healthy eating means to you and your family because it can be very stressful to understand what works, what does not, with all the conflicting information we get, um, and also just to understand what is best for us. And on top of it, at the stress of feeding little ones, and that gets very intense and overwhelming. Today's topic is water. Water is so, so important for us because our bodies are mainly, mostly made of water. Um, so, you know, there's over 60% more or less of our body is water as an adult. Um, you know, there's some variation depending on your gender, your physical activity, your age, um, and it that percent even increases even more when you look at children have more water and for example a 32 weeks fetus in mom's belly is about 80% water so we are mainly water and it's so important when you, we think about healthy lifestyles healthy eating actually water is a huge component of that now you may have heard that quantity is very important so we often hear that being stressed you know you need 1.5 to 2 liters of water a day um, you know depending on your level of activity and the environment you live in um, and your age and blah blah um, so most people are aware of that uh, which by the way makes a huge difference in your overall health when you incorporate enough water through drinking, but also through the food you eat. So remember, there's food, there's water in the food we eat, especially the veggies, vegetables. So that's why it's also important to incorporate them. What, um, another thing to consider, I guess, is that, you know, water is um, the primary element of all our body fluids. So that's our blood, our lymph, um, our digestive juices. So everything is made of water, all of those processes in our body. If we want our body systems to function well, then we need that water. But one thing that we don't always consider is the quality of the water we're getting in. Uh, we understand how much we eat, but we don't necessarily understand how First, there is a big variation of quality and how that affects us. So, water naturally has many contaminants in it. Um, so, you know, there is the contaminants in the soil. So if soils are used for intensive agriculture, chances are there is some pesticides, for, um, fertilizer, fertil <laughs> fertilizers and other things that are not the best for our bodies in, in there and then the water, you know, it gets in the water and passes on. There's also bacteria in the water naturally, right? Um, and then in the processing plants, oftentimes there's some chemicals added to kill the bacteria, but then we get the chemical like chlorine, which are not necessarily <laughs> good for us, right? Those things are not good to absorb into our bodies. I mean, they have a function of killing bad stuff, but then we, you know, the chlorine in and of itself is not a good thing to absorb. Um, and then on top of it, add the lead that is found in pipes oftentimes. And if you're in Canada, you may have heard it in the news recently or seen it in the newspaper. There is a huge research that was done um, nationwide about the amount of lead that is in our, um, in our tap water all over Canada. And it's very, very, very alarming. Uh, in many, many places, it's way over the safe limit. Um, and that affects many things in our bodies and particularly our brains, mental functions, aside from others. So it's important to make sure that we are purifying our water uh, before drinking it. And I want to give you a couple of options here. Um, the one that is very simple and that is, you know, fairly cheap is using an activated carbon uh, filter. Those are, for example, the Brita filters that you may have heard. So those are like, you know, the filters 
and you know there's all sorts of different Brita um, beautiful um, filters <laughs> like how do you call them um, and then those are great and they filter out a lot of um, of the you know the nasty stuff but also the chemicals um, that that stays inside the carbon so basically what they do is the carbon just traps those things now if you want it to work though it's very important that you change the filter regularly because if you don't uh, change it often it's actually not working anymore and worse it can actually release all the stuff that was kept in there back into the water so woohoo that's not very helpful especially uh, it's important that you do not uh, filter hot water through those filters because the um, the hot water gets the carbon to release all the things it has absorbed so basically yeah releases all the contaminants back in there uh, which goes against why you're filtering in the first place uh, so that's one of them uh, if you want one that is a bit bigger that is gonna last longer that may be more cost that is more cost effective in the long run there's Berkey water filters out there um, recommend you to check them out they're great um, and another one that's a bit more um, efficient is reverse osmosis um, water filtering systems. Those tend to be a little bit more expensive, uh, but they are actually yeah, uh, more efficient and they filter out more things um, while you know keeping good minerals that uh, we get from the water too. So a couple of things that I recommend you check. It's not a hard thing to incorporate in your life. It's not that costly and it makes a huge difference in your health. Um, and please avoid bottled water. Um, there's many reasons why bottled water is not ideal. And I recommend that you actually check the um, EWG websites, ewg.org, and it's a very, very valuable resource. They have many different things to check on their website, including some info on water and why bottled water is really bad for you. Um, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're gonna look at the water you're drinking and the water you're giving your kids. Um, because think about it, your kids are renewing cells every day and they need water for that process. So the water they drink directly goes into everything that's happening in their growing body. So I encourage you to please um, increase the quality of the water you're giving your little one and you're drinking. It's not really hard to do. There's uh, some options out there depending on your budget. I will see you next week. And in the meantime, eat well and be well. Ciao. And drink a lot of water. Cheers. That don't sound so big.